Well, welcome to the Go-Kart Guru Go-Kart Hill Performance Program tutorial. In this program we will uh, show how the, uh, the go-kart can be calculated in its performance on whether or not it can climb a hill or whether or not it will not climb a hill. Uh, basically on the top of the program here is the weight data for the people and the go-kart, the horsepower data, and the clutch engagement RPM which is set at a defeat default of 2000 RPMs. This program also calculates whether or not you are climbing a hill and it's set at a default of 10 degrees. The drive system as we're showing here is also inputted. It's assumed when you are doing this calculation by default that this is a single one-to-one -one system. In other words, there's a clutch and a drive system in the rear. It also includes the jack shaft system and the way it's set up right now, it's designed so that it's ignoring the jack shaft. It's assuming that it, they both have 10 teeth, so when it does a calculation, it just breezes through it. Um, the, the setup that's set here is the go-kart performance data that is used on the um, the web page for the Phi Alpha 10. Now if we press calculate you'll see some alarming warning coming up. It says that the go-kart will slide backwards when going down a hill and that's exactly what can happen to this go-kart if the ratios are set the way we have them designed. This go-kart is designed to go on a flat surface not to go on a hill. So if you do want it to climb a hill on the bottom of the program, it gives you recommended drive cha system changes. And it says here, the drive layout changes that are needed, basically it's saying that the drive system is underpowered. That's a nice way of saying that you need to up your ratio. And you can see here it says the overall ratio is 15.47 to 1. So what do we have to do is go up to where it says ratio here and change that. So in order to do that, we can, we can do a jack shaft change about like 25 teeth we input that in and then press calculate again and you can see our ratio is now 14.63 to 1 which is close to that 15 that we had before so what does it say it says it can climb a hill fine uh, the clutch is not smoking and the tires gripped and so forth and it tells you what kind of acceleration you'll get now the downside to this whole thing is that your maximum speed will only be 12 miles per hour so in order to climb a hill you will get a, uh, a loss if you will you won't get a nice top end so uh, th this this program is designed to work in conjunction with our go-kart building 201 books and uh, the 202 book and the 203 book which will be coming out this year